Hello, beautiful, brilliant, creative Black women. God is born all. I hope that you, your daughters, granddaughters, nieces, and your goddess daughters are all being uplifted, held sacred, and protected. I need to give a trigger warning for the video that I'm about to share with you. Um, this was, I, I think this black man has a, um, YouTube video as well. I am going to put the information about this in the description, um, of this particular, uh, video, TikTok, YouTube, so that you can go and see for yourself and listen for yourself. I'm not going to play the whole thing. It's just too horrifying um, to play. Um, and I do need us to take seriously what he is saying. Let's take a listen to some of what this um, Negro Pian said. And... Uh, Please share this information. Uh, you'll be able to go and listen to the whole thing for yourself if you choose to do so. Again, trigger warning. Do you want to be on the side of history that empowered these hateful, evil black American women to do even more evil? Or do you want to be on the side of history that culled the herd of evildoers and brought order, sanity and righteousness back to society? I know what side of history I want to be on. Even if I died the same day I started cleansing the land, I know what side of history I would be on. I did something good that needed to happen. Anyone that isn't going to kill a black woman is contributing to the destruction of our value system, of our society. They're contributing to the destruction of the next generation. Don't wait for everyone to agree with you. There are times when you just have to be the first to do something, even though you might risk being the only one to do it, which I guarantee you will not be the only one killing black women. Trust me. I mentioned this earlier to someone else, but I do want to stress this. There's nothing you can do outside of killing the black women we have right now that will make any significant change in our society. Once we see the root of evil, which is the black woman, we have to cut her out. You can't chastise her. You can't punish her. You can't discuss anything with her because she's made it blatantly clear that she does not care about you or your well-being or what's best for you. She does not care about the rightness or the wrongness of anything. She just wants to win. She just wants what she wants. If the system isn't going to change and it's not if the female isn't going to change and she's not who needs to change us we do we've tried everything and we failed the only thing we haven't tried is violence and we know that will actually succeed historically speaking it's always been the case when you read the bible what does it tell you to do kill all the women take the younger females as your wives that's how you rid the world of evil now, there are diverse ones of us who have um, actually um, think tanks and things like this in which we look at these types of uh, behaviors uh, directed towards black women and black girls and um, we take it very seriously. Um, your your protection, your, your being held sacred, your being held uplifted as black women and black girls is a very serious thing to us um, as a network of black women. So, all right. I know that that was hard to hear. Um, it's just been a difficult day today. Uh, and I do also want to say, as I said before, there are quite a few black women who actually think tank, right? 
and we work on solutions for many of our issues as black women and black girls, um, not only nationally, but internationally. And I would suggest that, again, you take your own protection, your daughters, nieces, granddaughters, goddaughter, goddess daughters, protection and security seriously. Um, I suggest things like making sure that, you know, our daughters learn um, self-defense tactics, that they're put in martial arts, that um, as Black women, we get our concealed carry permits. And that is entirely up to you what you do or whether you ignore it or whatever. Um, I just am giving you information and you choose what you do with it. And um, in order for you to be secure, it's really in your hands you know, and I suggest you work with your local police departments or, you know, um, agencies like the FBI. If you run across things like this, um, it, it's just important to our security and our growth as black women and black girls. God is born. And this is why I resist. This is why I resist. And for those of you who are black men, don't come in my comments. Or for those of you as black women who worship black men, please do not come in my comments and tell me there's good ones. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Let me be very clear. They are doing nothing to stop this. Nothing. We were earlier in uh, uh, the... 2022 being murdered every five and a half hours. Then it went to every five hours. And now it's every four and a half hours a day by black men. There is nothing that you can tell me about good ones. Our lives are on the line. And, um, Whoever's that good, then you need to get with your fellow black male, your fellow Negro pen. Don't speak to me on it. I love you, black women. Please take care of yourselves.